Hey guys, my name is Lee Hardy, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about LSU tailgating. Now, I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with tailgating, but I just want to say that if you have never been to an LSU tailgate, then you do not know what you're missing out on. LSU tailgates are absolutely, unequivocally, undeniably the best in the NCAA. And this isn't just a statement, this is a fact. For those of you who have are already LSU fans and have been to games, then this statement probably needs no further explanation or justification. But if you've never been to an LSU game and you plan on going, let me just tell you, you are in for the ride of your life. And I'm not talking about a leisurely ride down the street in a 1995 Crown Victoria, you know, the one you borrowed from your mom for your 10th grade Sadie Hawkins dance with that person you couldn't stand a week later. No, no way. I'm not talking about that. X that and X those guys twice. No, what I'm talking about is a souped up 1963 Corvette Stingray split window coupe with the pedal to the metal kind of ride. I mean, a seven year old's first time in Disney World on Magic Mountain kind of ride. Look, I'm talking about the Blue Angels, Kentucky Derby. Texas bull riding type of ride that makes your heart race and your inhibitions just disappear and leaves you wanting more. Okay, so Okay, so now that I've raised your expectations a little bit, let me give you some background. I think each person is so different and the reasoning for why they uh, love or don't love one thing and, and, and hate another. So for me, specifically, uh, LSU game days have always been an out. Um, I didn't grow up with a lot. Um, we weren't poor, but we didn't have a lot. Um, we didn't take a lot of trips. We didn't do a lot of fun things, really, in my family. I went to a normal school, public school, so apart from a few field trips here and there and maybe a choir tour with my church every now and then, I lived a pretty boring life. But on Saturdays, all of that changed. You know, and I'm not just talking about any Saturday, of course. I'm talking about LSU home game Saturdays. I didn't even realize the greatness of it at the time, probably because I was just too young to understand and at that point, I'd never been to any college, any other college tailgating events. But for this one day of the week, I became a part of something that was bigger than anything I could have dreamed up on my own. It was bigger than my family problems. It was bigger than the girlfriend who dumped me after third period. It was bigger than my biology test the next week. I mean, it was just this moment about uniting a group of people for one common purpose and just becoming one family where everyone was included and we were all working towards the same goal and to this day that truth has remained yet yeah, many things in my life have changed i've got a career now and a family of my own and some weeks are great and other weeks are challenging but regardless of what is going on in my life lsu tailgating is as constant as the tide and that's not to be confused with the bama tide although Unfortunately, they've been pretty constant too lately. Anyway, we won't go there, but what makes LSU tailgating the best tailgate? Not just another good college football pregame party. Honestly, there's an endless list of reasons, but I'm going to focus on three. Family, food, and passion. So let's start with family. There are a lot of statistics out there about what the definition of a family should be and blah, blah, blah. Okay. And look, I don't have a doctorate in family structurology or whatever it's called. But what I can say without a doubt is that everyone needs someone. You know, I mean, everyone needs to feel like they're part of something, like they belong somewhere. And LSU tailgates really, really, really provide this outlet. I mean, you wake up in the morning and you put on your purple and gold and you go out to campus and it's like hanging out with brothers and sisters that you never knew you had and aunts and uncles that you don't know their name, 
but it doesn't matter because you're all at the family re family reunion together. I mean, if you need a beer, you just ask. If you need somewhere to sit down, you just grab a chair. And the reality is someone's probably going to, in the process, hand you a beer and a cold and a hot bowl of jambalaya at the same time. I mean, this family is everywhere. You walk around and you just see family. Now, that actually brings us to our second point, which is food. There is so much food, it is unbelievable. I mean, yeah, you find the South Louisiana classics, the jambalaya, the gumbo, boudin. But in addition to that, you will find everything under the sun, from fried fish and beignets to pigs on spit. I mean, some tents start cooking on Friday just to make sure the meat's smoked just right for Saturday. So whether it's homegrown or homemade or home bought from the store, you will find everything you're craving somewhere on campus during one of these games. The third reason is passion. Now, all I can tell you is that if the LSU crowd is the 12th man during the game, then we'll just call the tailgating crowd the 13th man responsible for the pregame hype. If you are a Tiger fan, it means you are in it for life. Like there's no bandwagon to even hop on and off of. The passion it infects like the culture of South Louisiana and it implants itself into the very being of the people who are here. And although we're talking really about football right now, this passion goes so much further. It's the driver for everything people do here. So football is no different. And LSU tailgating, it's like throwing gasoline on this open flame. To be totally honest, you don't even have to see the passion. You can just close your eyes and feel it. It's incredible. Now, I've been to many other NCAA football games, or pre-games, I should say, and both within the SEC and for other divisions. In this world, this word tailgate is thrown around as a description for many of these events, but I would argue that that's like comparing a 20-foot, yep, that's right, Catalina sailboat to a 200-foot private superyacht. Now, yes, they are both technically boats, but I don't think they would even be parked in the same harbor, much less be compared in any way. LSU takes what other college fans try to do and actually does it. There is no doubt that LSU tailgating is the best tailgating that the NCAA has to offer. And if you still disagree, then all I can say is you must not be tailgating like I am. So let me prove it to you. Meet me in the quad in front of the old fountain at 10 a.m. for our next home game. And if you have trouble finding it, it's super easy. Just ask someone where the start of the annual underwear run is. <laughs> I'll be the guy in the purple and gold shirt, and I'll have a cold beer waiting just for you. See you soon.